pray that our country in these very divisive times. Good morning. My name is Stacy Ritter. My husband, Ben, and I are here with our four children, Hannah, Madeline, Ethan, and Abigail. We're down here from the great state of Pennsylvania. I'm here to support the affordable care law and make sure that other people understand the value of the law and what it means to families like mine. This law is important for many reasons. See, my twin daughters, Hannah and Madeline, had the unfortunate diagnosis of childhood cancer when they were age four. Once we depleted all of our savings and our investments, we still had no choice but to file for bankruptcy. They didn't ask for cancer. They did nothing to get cancer. They're a bad business choice. And this law protects them from being discriminated against for that reason. Under the old rules, I would have lost my care when I aged out of my parents' plan. But because the new provision lets parents keep their children on their insurance until age 26, I never lost coverage. Obamacare stepped in. I'm here today because the Affordable Care Act is saving my life. I have uh, stage three breast cancer and I was diagnosed while uninsured. Without the Affordable Care Act, in my personal, in my story, my family's life, we would uh, probably go bankrupt. And my kids, you know, my son's 17, there goes college. My daughter's nine, there goes college. Um, there goes our future. My wife and I started Hawthorne Auto Clinic 29 years ago. We now have 13 employees, 10 full-time. One of the things we thought was gonna be important was to provide healthcare uh, coverage for our employees and their families. A lot of the things we saw come through in the Affordable Care Act made, I think, a really big difference. The Small Business Health Insurance Tax Credit. For us, in the end, it was $12,900 for last year's tax credit for the contribution that we make for our employees' premiums. Healthcare premiums actually have gone down 3% in the last two years. One of the advantages was that it enabled us to increase our staff, to actually hire someone new. And that wouldn't have been possible, I don't believe, without that extra $12,900. One of the things we found, and it's a little surprising, both talking to small business owners and to business accountants, people don't know that that tax credit exists. I think it's going to be a shock to people when they realize what they're missing. But people need to take it upon themselves to do what I did, and that is go out and get your own facts. I'm honored to be here this morning, uh, standing with the Catholic Health Association. This act will actually improve the quality of health care delivered. And let, let's remember when all the when all the hoopla has gone over the, the, the politics and the, and the finance about this is really about preserving human dignity. Uh, if you don't have your health, what, what else do you have? By upholding the law, the court will allow small business owners to focus on what they do best. Things like fixing cars and creating jobs and will allow their children, like me, to pursue our dreams. We cannot go back to denials. We cannot go back to the way things were before this law was passed. We fought too long and too hard. It has been over a hundred years. Both Democrats and Republicans have been fighting for health care for all the people. Now we have it and now we're going to keep it. Because President Obama signed the Affordable Care Act, I get to keep my house, I won't go bankrupt, my kids are gonna get to go to college, and I am going to live. Yeah!